Hi guys, just wanted to show you a pretty amazing property, just almost finished. Pretty much lock up and ready to go. Um, just wanted to show you, this is the outside of it, so you can get a bit of a view from there. Um, these are three-way car doors here, and um, they'll open up. So you probably couldn't hear me too much there because the voice is on the other side of the mic. Um, but just have a look at this property. It's a finished development. Okay, I'll hand it over to my mate. Let's go through and wander through and have a look at this. Um, this is a house um, that was built on, uh, on one of those blocks where the, it's a bit more of a heritage type thing, so it means we can't remove the house. So what can we do if we can't remove the house? We can do a lot of stuff in a very um, high-end area. So um, use some good builders, some good architects. I want to show you the extent of where this type of strategy of proper development can take you. Small, big, doesn't matter. You can still put out some pretty amazing stuff. Um, want to inspire some people out there and show them the product. It hasn't hit the market yet, this product, and it will be available pretty soon, which is pretty cool. Um, but I want to get you in the doors as soon as possible and show you what's going on. It's, it's probably 99% finished, I'd say. Um, so when you come in the front door, and we'll turn around in a second, have a look once we go up the stairs, but um, you want to pan around and just show this bit for a sec. Show the fence line there. So there's... There's from the street there, we've got a bit of garden out the front. Um, a lot of curves in this, as you can see, and that's the whole point about this, having having those curves. All right, looks like we're still going. <laughs> Funny when you get calls during the live, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so if we go through to here, um, this is what we'd have as, a, as the office. So this is where you'd be working out of each day, your offers. Um, well, obviously, I am uh, six foot six, so you can already guess how big these these wooden glass um, doors are. So that gives you a nice view out into the street there, and you can have a, a um, have your, your desk set up here, or it can be a spare room. But this is what I'd use it for—a little bit of a spare office. Um, and then that follows on through to one of the first bathrooms. A lot of bathrooms in this place. There's one of them there. See a lot of the stone used in here. Okay, so we got the stairs here. Got lights coming from underneath the handrail. But this is what it's really about. This is the, I think the wow factor you'll get here. You might want to pan around a bit, bit and have a look. Um, so could you imagine living here? The whole idea of this is this open plan. And what can you do with it? Now guys, I want to tell you, this is a Queenslander raised, and this was what was done underneath. So we're still maintaining the original Queenslander up above. But what's pretty cool is, you know, what, what can design and property development do for you? Um, so with this particular space here, we've got the ex exposed concrete on the ground here. Um, very simple little things like here on the stairs, you'll see just a little layer here, but what's really cool about it is that light coming through. So it's all about angling that light in the right direction. Um, over here would be your media area. So just nice and simple, nice and plain. But again, if we pan around and have a look here, you'll see that it's totally indoor, outdoor living. Uh, we do have our doors. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, these glass doors will just follow right through. They just join on to each other. But uh, during the day, we can open them up. You might not be able to hear me as clear, but it doesn't matter. You, this is what I want you to see. I want you to visualise this type of place. And we've got the beautiful bird. <laughs> um, there's your pool. Um, good enough for uh, you know, a lap pool. Good enough to um, have your kids in there. Uh, having a great time. Again, even the styling of the pool is very important. Um, we do, we've got a lot of wood in this place, right? So you've got to mix the wood with your concrete, with your tiles, with your glass. It's very important. Getting that mix right is a fine art. And it, it doesn't come from doing your first design. It's probably like your tenth design that you kind of go through and just get improved better and better. But if you can see along the back there, we just get your plain uh, wooden fence there, but painted. But it's because you didn't need any any type of um, different type of like more expensive fence in the back and why that's important is because you've got all this to look at 
So you can maintain things a bit cheaper in the background or the standard. It's not really cheap, it's just a standard one that you, you put up there anyway. As long as you get the features, so you've got to work out where those features are going to go. Obviously up at the top there, you've got the deck there. Um, great lawn area here for the kids. And then your outdoor barbecue area, uh, lots of seating out there. But already it's, it's setting a, a tranquility for you to, to live in, but also to be able to entertain. And you know, the kitchen is the heart of the home, right? So let's have a look at that. So stone, bench top, obviously. <laughs> kitchen here. Um, and then when you're, when you're cooking or when you're entertaining in this area, you can feel the openness of the whole plan of the whole place behind you here. Um, obviously nothing is spared when it comes to quality, right? None of this stuff was shipped out from China on a container. <laughs> All locally sourced beautiful stuff, probably made in China, but the whole point about it is um, this is all about quality, you can't skip anywhere. Um, so attention to detail, but simplicity is very important. Design, the guy that, that does this is a student of mine and in more of in a connection now, I kind of get to a level I have and connecting with my students and come on board with my programs and still very active in, in the community, which is great. But the whole idea is it's interesting when, um, when, you, when you really pay attention to architecture and you can appreciate it, you can do some amazing things. Over here is your induction um, Millet, so we're using Millet here, right? Still a, a great brand. They had different levels of Millet, and in most, most appliances you will have different, different levels. And you can just guess what's all behind all the storage area here. Um, and big area for your fridge, because you're going to have a big fridge in here. Probably some of the stuff that um, I'll be going through later on in the week, I'll be going through and showing you some of those high-end appliances too. I went down to Harvey Norman, had a good chat with my guys down at Harvey Norman. Of course, this is your shoe rack where you put your shoes. No, this is for, for all your wine and temperature control area for your wine. Just to show you, because a lot of people love kitchens, right? And I want to show you how this one works. So you've got your Mille, um induction um, bench tops. Uh, obviously, you're in the wall stoves that are here. Two, two types of different stoves, and then another area over here for your prep, right? But, but we do have a, another area to the side, which is a laundry. So it's a typical layout that you really need to always be focusing on. How do you get that flow from the kitchen to the butler's area to the laundry? And of course, in this house, you're gonna have a, um, a built-in Millet dishwasher. That's just seamless, um, very important. If we come around to here, this is a laundry area. Um, everything's got to match. Everything's got to, got to match from one area of the house to the other. Very important. If you notice in this house, there's probably three colours. That's it to the whole house. And if you can spot them going on in the video, you, you'll see that. And that's what's so important to, to not overkill with your different colours. So you want to have your simple white and your blacks, but then you want to have one little feature thing, but at the end of the day, try to speak to three colours is important. Um, and this little bit in the middle here to give even more height to the place. And remember, I am six foot six, so you can pretty good much guess what that height is there. And if we go up here, you'll see this window brings a lot of this beautiful lighting. I get asked from a lot of people, you know, showing you as a drafty, showing you as a building designer, showing you as an architect. I, I can't argue with people, I've just got to, I've got to say, look, do whatever you want, but use an architect. <laughs> because architects know about light. And that's what's so special about this place. If we didn't have any lights on, it wouldn't make a difference. And so if you can get someone that really knows how to adapt light, that's what will make all the difference. Now I'm gonna go down here and just close this door so you can get a bit of an idea of what it looks like. So we'll let that guy close on it. So we got the smart lock up there, obviously, so you just put your hand up to there and it can open up. But yeah, that's a, that's a real amazing view. Um, very, very big door, but quite easy to close. Don't worry about that. Now, who, who wants to go upstairs? Have we got any, let me just have a look here. Got some people still on, no problem. All right, let's, let's go upstairs, have a look. Got some louvers here to bring the natural air through. 
Again, the mixture of light is very important for the whole place. So, you might have got a, a tip from outside about what we were looking at from the outside. And we're looking at a Queenslander with an addition onto the side. Um, so, just remember this room when we go back outside right at the end. This would be the master bedroom. I'll just be quiet so you can have a look at that view. So that's what you're waking up to each morning. These doors, again, look at my height, you can get an idea, six foot six plus there. Um, and of course, these can open up. We're living close for now. Uh, and so you're basically waking up to that every day. And that's a wow factor. And this was really needed in this place because the Queensland on, on its own wasn't enough. We had to kind of add a little bit more to the dimension of the actual design. So through to there, let's go, who wants to have a look at the, uh, the wardrobe, of course, the most important part of the house. And so again, just seamless, simplistic, nothing to see here. And obviously, you know, as soon as we start pulling out these um, areas, there's for your shoes, and then you'll have a his and hers area there. Really beautiful texture on. Everything I touch has got a texture to it. And that's when you start dealing with stuff at a bit of a higher level. Instead of just being soft, type of finishes, texture really comes into one of the things that I've noticed. And then obviously your bathroom here. So you've got your, your stone um, freestanding bathtub. Again, same type of colour range of taps throughout the whole place, same quality there. Simplistic again, your double shower heads. Because this is an old Queenslander, this isn't the, um, this isn't, well, I suppose it is a bit contemporary in the design, but at the end of the day, we still want to bring that feeling of the tap wears and that's so you can see in there. We, we haven't gone crazy, but we've done the old type of shower head on there to give that same type of mix of a look. How do we kind of blend them together? And then obviously you get the bath, your toilet in there, your shower in here. And then we have our two sinks over here. And then obviously the mirror is just really very much needed in this place to go from one side to the other. But then again, up here, those high set windows bring in nature into the place. There'll always be that beautiful view coming through. And the louvers are really important in this place. I mean, even though you've got air conditioning, louvers are amazing. Um, so everything here has got louvers on it because we want the privacy and nothing looks better than, than a louver for the privacy. You can have like a big window with it, but louvers just seem to be, give you two options, right? So obviously they're opaque in a way like this, but if I open them up, then I don't have to open them all away. So I can kind of still have my privacy, but only bend them slightly. So bathrooms, really good tip to do these type of louvers in there so that they can still open up the window without giving it all away. Now, who wants to keep going? We want to keep looking through. Give me a thumbs up. We got any thumbs up? I do. That's good, that means I'm still working. <laughs> So that's good. Um, obviously, let's just have a look at the here quickly. So these are, this is obviously where the bed would go in this way here, and then you get your cool little lights that we've used here. Okay, so let's continue through. Uh, so separating the house now. So when you look at it, this from the outside, you'll notice that there's two parts of this house. One part there is a the main bedroom, which is kind of a house on its own. And then you've got the separation between this one and the old house, but they're still being made in, in a sense so that they still match. So, if we look down to here, you can see this is the, the downstairs area. So there's our, our, our separation of space coming up, but um, just great, it's a great effect. Um, all climate controlled in here, so a lot of iPads and that used on the walls to kind of muck around with the climate. And then here, oh, I think they're locked at the moment. Let's have a quick look at this. Because this is really where we're bringing the old with the new, mixing it all together. So a little bathroom area off here. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so. Close this up. Like we said, this house is 99% finished, just making it perfect basically. That's the only difference that we're doing now. 
Not that many. Um, so there's one big master bedroom that you saw there, which was one side of the house pretty much. Now this is another bedroom. So again, keeping that same idea of the, um, I'll turn this off actually, it's a bit noisy with that fan, but we've got the, the same tapware, same stone range, same, same tiles on the wall there, bringing this area um, into your bedroom. So this is another bedroom here, but out from this bedroom here, you've got a view of the pool and obviously the trees and everything around here as well. So um, that's been really well placed. Let's keep walking through. Everyone like this? Everyone enjoying this? Give some thumbs up. So give me some love hearts if you want to buy it. <laughs> uh, obviously, you've got to have your big wardrobe in the middle here. So what we're actually walking through now, guys, from that balcony area that you saw to that first bedroom, this is the old Queensland they've redone, brought back to life. This is what's so beautiful about these type of properties. That, um, that you know you can basically take something that was old and give it new life, which is great. So this is your living closet, obviously, which is a must in any home. So this is the other bedroom here. Again, you've got the traditional Queenslander where you, you, you would sit here and read a book. Um, so you can still do that, which is great. But you should probably get a better view than when it was down below. Again, we're sticking to the blacks and the whites in this particular area here, and even keeping the original little stowaway area. I remember my grandmother, who, who's grandmother? Give me a thumbs up if your grandmother used to have a house like this. Okay, so this is another bedroom, so that's a view you're gonna wake up to, and then you've got a walkthrough area here with your, your, your wardrobe, and then a classical um, bathroom in here. Same type of features as what you've seen before, and um, the UOP glass obviously been added to that. So keeping with the, the look of the old Queensland. So, so far we've gone through one, two, uh, sorry, one master bedroom, one bedroom there. This is the third bedroom. Let's go look at the fourth bedroom here. Again, same type of bathroom, fixtures in there. And this is the next bedroom along. So you get to see the same type of view out of this window as well. So you'll get quite a lot of light coming into these. Now, let's go next door to a little study area, which I really like. I think it's very important this day and age. Everyone wants to have their computers and studying, so very important to have uh, an area where it doesn't have to be tucked away with what I really like about it. Obviously, this house, we've already gone one, two, three, four. So we're gonna have five bedrooms plus the one below, so it would make it six unless you would use it as an office. But you're gonna have kids, aren't you? So the best thing to do is to have an area here where they can they can study or, or you can use it yourself. But I think you've gotta start bringing these studies into an environment where mum and dad can be around just instead of just putting them in their room. So this is the last bedroom. Again, we've got an interesting mix here, which I think, you know, keeping the old Queenslander here, but with the black handles, right? And then we've got the, the new contemporary look here with your, what, what, obviously what we use now, every single day we use these type of steel, steel frame structures. Um, but it's interesting, this whole plant place is, you know, it's like, a, 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 they've mixed together two elements beautifully to be able to put it together. Again, it comes down to, well, Having a lot of study before you start something, obviously you can't do this type of builds unless you're buying the property at the right price to start off to when you start, but then building that team. As I explained to everyone, it's not about me and who I am. Obviously I'll brand myself, but it's about the team I'm using together to make sure that they're on the same mission as me to create something beautiful like this. So let's go back downstairs and have a look um, through the house again, give you a bit of a flow. So we'll go and have a look at the one last thing, which is the garage. We've got one of the guys from the team finishing it off. So you can imagine if you are moving from Sydney to here, this type of house in Sydney might be eight, eight nine million. But uh, you can, uh, in Queensland, because you get the land cheaper, you can, um, you can build it for a, for a fraction of that cost. So 
that's the biggest thing about being able to do stuff in certain areas and create beautiful things, in, especially in Queensland, which is why I like doing stuff in Queensland. Not to say I don't do stuff in Sydney and Melbourne and other areas as well, but it's, a, it's not so much about um, the, what, what I say to people, you've got to look at that area, see what, see what that area needs, and then make sure the product that you're putting there is really, you've thought about it, and you've thought about, well, what do people really want to be living in these days? This particular product is exactly ticks what people want to be living in. They want their own little area for having their study. They want a beautiful master bedroom. They want maybe away from the kids, but not too far away. They don't want their master bedroom on the bottom level. They want to be with the kids. And they, they want a pool, which is obviously a classical thing where people are very much about having pools in their place. Um, but you know, this whole place means that people, you can have so many people in this area just enjoying this space. But it's not only about appliances and your your television, all that type of area, but just creating an ambient, quiet space to chill out in. So let's have a look at the one last thing, which is the free car garage, because you're gonna have free cars. <laughs> and we can't go in there at the moment, but you can have a look. There we go. Cool. Let's go and have one last look from the outside. So do we want to walk down to the street there? And I'll, let you, I'll stop talking now and I'll let you guys have a look at what we talked about. So already you can imagine about how this looks. Um, there's the, the features there of the old queens and, and the raised up, the curve of the wood, and that separate section there is, was that bedroom that we, uh, the master bedroom that went right all the way through. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I love doing stuff like this. I love going on, seeing my network of people that I, I hang around with constantly and seeing what they're able to achieve. Um, and just wanted to really show you this type of property and show you that, you know, it all starts about doing the smallest little renovation to moving on to doing your own homes um, and getting good at that design. And then that's endless where it can take you. Um, you know, the guy that did this one here is, I've, been, I've known him for quite a few years now. I've just seen the growth go more and more. And this isn't only one of them. There's, there's quite a few more of these designs going on at this time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to learn more about what I do and what I teach, then go to jbclass.com. Nice and easy. Jason Byron, JB. Get out of the job, I say. Um, and go check it out. See you later, mate.